The next view in the hand routine is the oblique. You can leave your film and your light set up pretty much the same spot. We're just going to have our patient bring their arm over again. Elbow on the table, making sure that we've got the 90 degree angle between the upper arm and the forearm. And again, right down in the middle, that looks very nice. And then I use a step sponge to rotate the hand up to 45 degrees. And then have the patient rest their fingers right on the stairs. That's perfect. Want to make sure that you spread those fingers out so that they don't overlap on the film. It looks like I need to move her just a hair to keep her in the middle of the cassette. Going to put my marker um, down by the wrist area again, making sure it's outside of the shadow. And now I need to realign my light field. Double checking to make sure that all of the shadows of the fingers lie in there, that the fingers are not overlapped. I've included my markers, the wrist. Um, one thing to take note is on the thumb, because it's up so high on the step wedge, you will have a little bit of magnification on your film. So give yourself a little extra light over there on the thumb side. That looks very nice. Go ahead and step out of the room. Hold very still. Okay, you may relax.